Hello, my name is Nelly, and welcome back to yet another wallet integration video. We're going to cover all of them, all right, or all the main ones. I'll try at least. So today we're talking about BlockFi. So I'm going to show you how to do your crypto taxes uh, if you have the BlockFi wallet with the help of Coinly. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the wallet itself, and then I'm going to jump into the very basic um, integration for this video, uh, for this wallet, and then I'm going to jump into where you can download um, the necessary tax documentation. It's very, very straightforward. We, I mean, the goal is to be very straightforward because crypto taxes can be very complex and, and there could be a lot of steps, but hopefully with the assistance of Coinly, it's very easy. And then lastly, I'll show you where you can leave your questions or, you know, get assistance if you need it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So BlockFi was founded in 2017 and it's based out of New Jersey, US, uh, USA. It's known for their interest accounts, which can earn you up to 8% annually on deposits. And um, for anyone that's interested in staking and, and earning interest on uh, you know their investments, um, just know that everything should be tagged automatically for most centralized uh, exchanges slash platforms. So Coinly really attempts to make this process as easy as possible um, because it can get a bit confusing, especially if you don't really know um, you know, the tax regulations surrounding some of these topics. Um, BlockFi, BlockFi seems to be a relatively secure platform. However, it has experienced a security breach in its recent past. In 2020, they experienced a data breach, which leaked physical addresses and account activity of some of its customers. So hopefully they beefed up their security and, you know, they don't have problems with that going forward. Okay, let's jump into the integration part of this video. First, as always, sign into Coinly, go into the wallet section, um, click add wallet, and then we're gonna find the BlockFi one. And there it is. As you can see, there is no API option for this exchange. So we're gonna go with the import from file option. So we're looking for a CSV file on uh, BlockFi. So here is the actual interface itself. Um, uh, in the top right corner, you have your profile you're gonna click on reports. And here at the very bottom of this page, we have um, a few options. We have a trading option and a all transactions. That's the one we're most interested in. Um, you can set a time frame if you'd like. You know, here I've just set an example one from January 1st till today's date. So almost a, you know, a, a calendar year. Or you could click download all um, to download without that specific uh, date range. Okay, so once you've downloaded that file, drag and drop it into Coinly and just wait a few seconds for your transactions to be imported and then go back to your wallet section and here you'll see some different trans transactions that I made on this demo account. And there you have it, pretty straightforward I would say. Um, if we go into our transactions or sorry, if we go into our tax reports area, here we'll get a summary of you know what we've done this year or for, for whatever time period we're looking at. So here I've set it for this um, calendar year. We have 25 transactions, eight deposits, five withdrawals, 12 trades. It shows our capital gains, you know, our costs and expenses. And this is a fantastic area to keep track of, you know, your your crypto activity throughout the year to see where your, you know, your taxes will kind of end up. And then at the very bottom, you'll select a plan that is best suited for your needs. And then you, at uh, this section here, you can select which tax report, um, you know, is the one that you're looking for. As always, I mentioned the different kind of tax reports we have. This is a US um, or origin wallet, I guess if you want to call it. So maybe uh, most of the users for this one are going to be from the US. Uh, for you guys, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax both online and desktop versions. Um, for the UK audience, we have the um, HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have uh, reports for Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. Um, Australia specifically being a big audience for us, we have the ATO tax report, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report. And the complete tax report is a document that you can also give to your accountant, and they can combine it with the rest of your tax acti activity, or you can invite your accountant to Coinly where they can set up their accountancy firm, and as I've said many times before, before we're still, still working on content for that. And one final note, as I always mention, make sure to check your country's um, laws with tax deductions in terms of, you know, software that helps you with your, with your tax reports. So you might be able to get this tax plan um, deducted. And that brings us to the conclusion of this video. As always, here's some resources for you. I will leave links down below. We have the Coinly Help Center where you can learn a lot about crypto taxes. We have, 
hundreds of articles um, with all kinds of different topics. We also have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a um, contact section where you can send us an email or send us a message and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.